Hi, Dr. Fanel. My name is Jessica from Complete Chiropractic Marketing, and we are um, an agency based in Chico, so we're pretty local. Um, and I'm just reaching out to give you this video today to show you some new ways to start driving traffic and getting more new patients. Um, so I'm just going to show you a few things today. So as you can see, we are on your website. And you have a nice, fun little website. I love this. Looks like a fun office to work in. Um, this is good. It looks like you're going after a major keyword there. That's good. Okay. So it looks like you have a little bit of content on your website, or at least on your homepage. Um, and you're going to need a lot more content. So the rule of thumb is that your home page should have a minimum of a thousand to 1500 words of content. And that is 150 words for every buyer intent local keyword that you're trying to target because your new patients may not know the name of your company. Um, but they are Googling their ailments and services that they need. Um, and so those are the keywords that you're going to need to target, um, specifically in the area you service. So in Reading, um, and unfortunately, as nice as your website is, Google doesn't rank based on appearance. They use uh, robots called crawlers that go and index every single one of your pages looking for content and keywords. So you need to have um, a lot more content. You need additional pages. Um, if you have a variety of different chiropractic services or um, different ailments that you're treating, they should have their own page so that they can go after their own keywords and that you can be found um, when Google indexes you and can, they can put, Google can put you in front of those new patients. Um, so let's look at your top competitor in Reading based on the keyword Reading Chiropractors. Your top organic competitor is Churn Creek and um, they have a nice website. And as you can see, they have a ton. They have tons of content. And they're also using quite a few of those local keywords. Um, and because of that, they're getting a ton of visits. So in order to beat these guys, you're going to have to have additional pages like these guys have with enough content to go after those important keywords and having those keywords in repetition. Okay. So, um, these guys are, very easy to beat, but you have to have the content to do it. So if we come over here, this is a program we use called AREFs and it helps us to understand how a website performs. And as you can see right here, your website has a rating of a 2.5 out of a hundred in Google's trust flow, which means Google doesn't have much trust in your website. And that's a hundred percent to do with your backlinks and referring domains. You just don't have enough um, and you need high quality ones. So you need, um, not all backlinks are created equal. You need to go after high authority backlinks and you need a lot more than your top competitors. Because you don't have a whole lot of content, um, Google's only been able to index you for 32 keywords. So you're only getting 53 people on average to your website per month. Now, if we look at your top competitor, they also have a low rating of a 1.7. Um, they have 202 backlinks. Although they have this many backlinks, most of them are poor backlinks, which is why their rating is so low. Um, it also looks like they're pushing all of their backlinks to their home page, which actually can hurt them because they're not going after the important keywords on those service pages to be found. Um, but because they have all those additional pages and content, 
they're being able to um, be indexed for over 500 different organic keywords. And so they're getting over 482 people to their website on a monthly basis. Now, what a backlink is, a backlink is when one website links to your website and drives traffic to your website. Google likes this because it's like a popularity contest. So the more relevant they are, the more authority it gives you. Um, and it helps push you up in the rankings faster. So it's very important that you get a bunch of these high authority backlinks. And to also understand that your backlinks work very closely with your content and keywords. So you need to have those going to all your pages. And the last thing I want to talk to you about is the Google Maps. Your Google My Business page <coughs> or um, the Google Maps is a really important element. Your goal should be to be in the top three of this section because 30% um, of people come straight to the maps and they're going to click to call or go straight to your website and they're not going to go any further. So if you're not in the top three, you're handing those new patients over to your competitors. In order to be in the top three, it is a very competitive spot. Um, and so there's several different factors to be here, but the biggest one is something called citations which is the name of your company, your address, and your phone number and website, and being listed in a variety of places like Yellow Pages, Facebook, LinkedIn, Yelp, etc. So you need to have a lot more of those citations than your top competitors. And if you follow these tips that I've given you today, your website can be number one in Reading on Google. <clears throat> and I know you're probably wondering, well, what do I do now? Well, you can take the information I've provided and apply it yourself, and that's completely okay because this is just free education. I just ask that you go ahead and give me some feedback. However, if you decide you would like help getting some of this stuff done and you don't want to have to worry about it, go ahead and give us a call at the number on your screen and we can chat. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to hearing from you soon.